What's up, Limeheads? Thanks for checking out another lovely and amazing video here at Long Island Music and Entertainment. Now, usually when we do these video interviews, it's some, sometimes it's people that we're meeting for the first time. Sometimes it's with people that we, we've known for a little while, but I'm super excited because my two guests today, Jen and Mike Wayman, two good friends of mine that I've known for a very long time. Welcome to Long Island Music and Entertainment. Thanks for having us, dude. Thank you no so problem. much. No problem. Now, the reason why you guys are on is that recently you took on a new task, a new project, and uh, you guys have joined the podcast uh, circuit titled, Do I Have My Shit Together? Absolutely not, but I'm still trying. So it's an amazing podcast show that, Jen, I think you're, you're the host and you started it. So, Jen, what made you start the show and what's the history behind the name? Um, so... The quarantine started and I don't know, Mike looked at me and he said, Jen, I think you should do a podcast. And I was like, okay. And that's how it started. Um, we really didn't know what it was going to be exactly. I just knew that I wanted to help people. That's always my go-to, my favorite thing to do. Um, and I really like having very candid and honest conversations with people. So I think I wanted to bring that to the podcast. Um, and the name, it came, he said, what's the name of it? And I was like, like snapped. Oh, and I'm okay. like, do I have my shit together? Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm still trying because I think people look at us and me and think that I have a husband, kids, a house, a nice job, like um, that I have it all together. And I think I want people to know that nobody does. Right. Nobody has their shit together. Right, uh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so your first show, um, titled "How Do You Maintain a Strong Marriage?" and in parentheses, "In Quarantine." Very interesting way to break into the scene. So, tell us about how you came up with that, you know, that topic for your very first show. Uh, well, so so basically, you know, like I said, like she said, I I kind of said to her, I was like, "Hey, listen, you got some good ideas and." you know, you're well-spoken and you have some good thoughts and stuff. Like, let's start a podcast. Like, let's, let's start to get, let people into the, your head yeah. <laughs> a little bit. And, um, so yeah, it was, it was really, it, it was, um, mostly peer pressure, uh, with me on her, uh, getting into it. And I kind of just said, I was like, well, we need a, a theme or whatever. And she's like, well, let's, let's start it off this way. Like something we know, something that we, we have a lot to say about. Yeah. So, um, and, uh, he wanted me to have a different co-host and I was like, Oh no, oh. you made me do this. I'm like, you're in this with me. And yeah. he was, I was originally going to do it with somebody else. And, and we just started, uh, started it. And it's just like, we have a good chemistry and yeah. we both have a lot to say. And, um, the, the first episode, I was just like, People look at us and we do, we have a really good marriage um, and a strong marriage. And I think people see that. And I wanted to see if we could share some of the things that have helped us in our marriage and keeping it strong. And especially through quarantine and all this other shit, because it's very yeah. stressful. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the, the theme of your show, you talk about what's really cool about it is that you guys talk about like real life situations and not only is it real life situations, but it's like current topics that are, always discussed so what made you go along that that route well i think i think the third episode was kind of like the turning point because the second well maybe it was the second episode because mental health. um yeah so our, our second episode um and this is kind of something that she wanted to touch about in the very beginning is is mental health and you know it's something that a lot of people don't want to talk about necessarily because it's very you know it's less taboo now but I, I feel like it's still very taboo and and people have um you know their reservations about talking about their struggles and if they're on medication and this and that and like <clears throat> i feel like now you know especially being through so much each other with each other um when you talk about it a little bit people realize, oh, wait, I I've gone through that myself, and I've gone through that. So I think the mental health episode was, was huge, and that was something that she was very animate about doing. And um, it was just kind 
<clears throat> kind of one of those things where we were like, it's one of those things where if we discuss it and we get it out there in the open and, and, and stuff, maybe it'll help other people. Well, there. yeah, and I think it just kind of naturally, I just had ideas. Just I wanted to like talk to people close to us and like people who had good stories, like my brother being transgender, like that's a really big struggle to go through. And like, I think just sharing, being honest about what you go through can really help other people. I think other people's stories is, is really what's most important. Like people have gone through this before. So let's share that with other people and make them aware. But also mental health, like right now through the quarantine, it, even if you've never had mental health issues, I feel like now you know I'm, I'm no son. <laughs> I don't care what you say. If you've never had anxiety. You've never had depression. This is a button for everybody. And I know everyone's struggling. So I want to like, remind people that they're not alone okay now, how has the reaction been you know across the board i know you are on spotify and all the major platforms you know friends and family and people new listeners how how has the reaction been with you guys well we haven't had we, we don't have a ton of listeners yet but you know my connections within the band circles and stuff like that have have helped a little bit and um so we have like a decent amount of pretty uh, uh, loyal listeners who, who are looking forward to it week after week, which is pretty cool. Um, but so far, it, it's been very, very overwhelmingly awesome, you know. And and uh, I've done the podcast thing before, right? And Jen is just like, she 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 won't tell you this, but she's like, oh, I can't do it. I can't. Do it. She's got a, she's got a, a great gift of like speaking and getting getting things out of people. Oh, yeah. um, the, the right <laughs> questions and stuff like that. Uh, get a couple of drinks in her, and she's even better <laughs> like, at digging. Of course. Of so, course. so yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, it's been really good. Like, um, you know, was, got some really good. I was reaction. gonna say, you know, what, uh, you know, you have a fan in me in the show. You know, I tune in. You know, I'll be honest. You know, I, maybe I can't listen to a full episode every week, but the way that you guys conversate with each other and the way that you guys are just chill and it's just like a nice relaxing show you know this it's a serious matter there's nothing you know funny it's just you guys are really good together so i'm glad jen that you went ahead and uh did pick mike for the job <laughs> well good uh, we, we we actually because you said it was it was uh relaxing we we actually had somebody tell us yesterday like oh well i put it on before i go to bed and it puts me to sleep and i was like oh. i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> <laughs> but she's a good friend of ours and i was like Hmm, am I offended or do I want to hug you? I'm like, I can't really decide. <laughs> no, but yeah, you, guys, you guys do a really good job. I enjoy listening to it. It's very professional. It's very down to earth. It's very real. And uh, you guys are doing a good job, so keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, um, how do you come up with a topic each week? Like, how do you go ahead and decide, okay, you know, next week we want to talk about this or next week I want to talk about that. How, how do you come up with, you know, your weekly schedule? Um, so I have a little notebook and as Mike said, I have a lot of like, I, I have a lot of ideas in my brain. So I just, I'm like, okay. So I have a friend. I know that my Whoa. brother, we have company. I talk to him. Oh, you have a visitor. We have a visitor. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> um, and then like, I'm like thinking about all our friends that have been you know, in different situations um, through the music scene at, as well. And I'm like, okay, so like, what's an interesting topic? You know, um, our friend Frank, who has um, battled with addiction. And right. so it's kind of like people close to us who I know have been through difficult times and are willing to share what they've been through, like to help other people. So that's kind of really... Yeah, we're, we're super fortunate, and, and it's, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, just talk a little bit to the people that you're around, because everybody's got a real interesting story, and, uh, you know, again, our, our little, like, music scene uh, definitely provides a, a very decent amount of uh, <laughs> interesting characters, you know, and yeah. uh, it's pretty cool. Now that that brings me to my next question. You guys are good with the uh, the segues into my next uh, my next area. Um, every show, or maybe every other, every few shows, you do have guests 
from you know our local scene. Uh, you just mentioned you had Frankie G on recently from Craven Strange, and um, you know yeah. with his battle with addiction, and, and then you had Michelle from Lay Your Hands on Me, who is a breast cancer survivor. Um, yeah. How do you approach the guest to come out and talk about you know whatever the topic is for for that week? Are they you know obviously they're they're open to come up, come out and you know be honest and come out and talk with you guys, but how how do you approach them? What do you say? You just call them up and say, hey, we're doing a show about this. Do you mind, you know, coming on and being a guest and talking about it? How, how does that work? So, so Jen basically goes, I want this person as our guest, and then I am tasked to, uh, to go, like, ask these people and stuff. And, um, no, it's, it's, it's basically, you know, it's a quick text or message and go, hey, listen, you know, uh, we're doing this podcast, and we're talking about really inspiring stories and that we, you know, and we're looking to help people, and we love you you to share your story and um you know so far uh anybody that we've approached about it uh is has just been like super cool about it and and just kind of was like hey listen like i i really appreciate that you're doing this and doing this show no questions are off limits um mm -hmm. just just go for it and uh it's been pretty cool that way. Yeah. And uh, yes. yeah, we've got other stuff like lined up, interesting things lined up. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're, uh, we're pretty excited about it. All right, cool. Now tell us about the outlook. Um, is there a certain number of shows that you want to do on stop or you just want to keep on going until it gets bored or you get tired of it? I don't know. I think it's, uh, you know, I, 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 I told her this before the quarantine that, that she should do something just because she needs something else to make her creative mind work. And this has been like a really great thing. And finally, once the quarantine happened with the whole COVID thing, uh, she finally broke down and was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, we're, we're parents and you know, we, we have pretty busy schedules, but overall it's been like, it's been cool for us because it's pretty cathartic just in general. You know, like it's just another outlet for us, and and we're very art oriented people, and uh, it's just another way to hit that, yeah. like art thing, you know, being creative and stuff. Yeah. So we've come to the part of the interview for our limelight. Limelight is sponsored by the Wrestling POV podcast. For all you professional wrestling fans out there, make sure you tune them in. Find them on Facebook, Wrestling POV, hosted by Tony. Miguel, Rick Serrano III, and Mimi, they know their stuff, so check out Wrestling POV. So right now, Jen and Mike Wayman, you're in the Lime site. So is it clobbering time? Is that, is that what that is? <laughs> so we are from the podcast, Do I Have My Shit Together? Absolutely not, but I'm still trying. Uh, you can catch us on all the social medias. Uh, do I have my stuff together? Because you got to be all nicey nice for social media handles and whatnot. Um, but we also are on Spotify. We're on anchor.fm. Um, and yeah, you can catch us every Sunday. We post new episodes. Very cool. All right. Um, I'd like to thank you too for taking the time out. Um, and once again, we have... We have Jen and Mike Wayman from the new podcast show. Do I have my shit together? Because we're allowed to say shit here at Long Island Music and Entertainment. Absolutely not, but I'm still trying. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thanks, dude.